So yesterday, me and Catherine went to Gainsborough Old Hall with the GoPro. GoPro 11 with the media mod. And we didn't have uh, anything, any mics plugged into it or anything like that. We had no audio. We was just doing using the media mod mics and we had, when we got home we had no audio on any of the footage. Now, I'm messing about with it when we got home. We'd, uh, we'd bought a Volta, the, the battery pack handle with the, the remote buttons with it. All official um, GoPro stuff. Um, we've, we've kind of figured every time we connected the Volta, Volta that's, uh, that's what was doing it. It was knocking the audio off on the GoPro media mod. Totally unreliable. Um, all the footage, well, ninety percent of the footage was just no, no use. Here we are. Well, here I am. Out today again on my day off. I'm going to go back and maybe refilm it. It's going to take me an hour or so to to walk, have a walk around there and stuff like that. So uh, I'll try and get a video out. Going with the normal big camera and the DJI mics and hopefully it's better quality anyway if I just yesterday I thought I'd give a GoPro run out just for simplicity anyway here I am sat at McDonald's having my dinner having a coffee does anybody else think McDonald's coffee is better than Costa's or or any of them here we are I'm gonna have some some scran I've had my hair cut I've got the car washed and uh, for me at the minute, for a day off, that's quite productive. I can eat my chips, drink my coffee and my burger and head over there. Can you tell I've had my ears lowered? And I never understood the importance or relevance of this. But every time I've had my ear cut, they put the mirror around the back of my head. And I'm sure it's just to let me know how big my ball patch is getting. Hi, we're Sam and Cat. I'm Sam, and this idiot here is Kat. We've been making videos for the last five years following our days out and further travels. If you haven't already, why not subscribe, sit back, relax, and join us on our journey. Here we are then. Here we are, again. Things rolled all. This little garden. Let's have a walk around inside in a minute, I think. Hopefully, it's not too busy. It wasn't yesterday. Place. <clears throat> Lovely place. So we'll have a walk around inside. At some rooms, focusing people aren't working because that'd be embarrassing. Came here yesterday. So for them to be here today and we come back, it'd be a bit embarrassing, wouldn't it? But there you go, anyway. It's not a bad place to to chill out because you're not actually that far. actually that far from the town centre. We came a, I came a different way to what we did yesterday. Came in the back way from Uncle Emery's and uh, never even realised just how close we was really. But yeah. So we've got the War Memorial. Your uh, Salvation Army and Scouts. There you are. Then. There you are. Then. 
called the Great Hall. Little uh, spiral up there above the pelmet. The Great Hall. Exactly porcelain, are Showing the plates. Gainsborough Old Hall is a 500 year old medieval manor house. The hall was built by Sir Thomas Burr in 1460. King Henry VIII visited Gainsborough twice with his fifth wife, Queen Catherine Howard. The Queen was accused of indiscretions both at Gainsborough and Lincoln and she was later executed. So the clerk of the kitchen. The kitchen's possibly the most complete medieval kitchen in England. It still contains many original features including two open fireplaces, each large enough to roast an ox. Big, big chimneys. Another big chimney. Amazing. This is where they'd have handed the food out to go out into the hall. Which was in there. Steward would have been a very respected staff member. This would have been his bedroom, maybe. So 
this would have been a Seeing he was coming up to see him anyway. This would have been a, a very well respected member of staff. Not quite a butler, but let's head back down. Toilet, spend a penny. Hmm. Lodging range, which is that part of the house. Head up there then. They are actually old steps. They've covered over them, I suppose, for safety. With it being a timber frame house, I've had to put these fire doors in for safety. Similar to downstairs. There's a toilet there, I think. Our place. I don't know if you notice that. The doors are. Really uneven. Another toilet. And there would be enough floor bubbles here. Exactly the same layout. There's three floors in here. Architecturally, the old hall hasn't changed over the years. It is in principle a timber frame building, giving a characteristic striped and black and white appearance. Let's view out the window. Um, well, the house is uh, got timber frame style around this area. Certainly in keeping with the, the building anyway. You can actually see how much it's leaning out. That you look at from the garden. Spile look. This would be a nice spot to watch 
watch the fire. I'm not entirely sure we want that in the fireplace. games for the kids. Tower room. The tower, haunted by the Grey Lady, supposedly thought to be the daughter of the Lord of the Manor. She planned to elope with a poor soldier. Her father discovered the plan and locked her away in the tower where she died from a broken heart. But yeah, fireplace. It's a toilet. This is the spiral case staircase. I guess that goes down and out, maybe. But this is the bit I don't like. I'm going to have to do it. Just going to keep going round and round and round. There we are. Now, well, this floor isn't very even either. But yeah, there we are. So that's looking south. North. Lovely view of the church. West of the river. Grounds and a bit of the building. Don't usually do heights, especially spiral staircases. There's something about spiral staircases that make it seem like they're going up higher than they are. But there's a old English heritage. That's in about on the floor, as you can see. Goes a bit up and down. Gorgeous day. I think we'll go 
Yeah. Lovely view. The church. <sighs> right. Do you? This roof. Got to go down all the way down these buggers again. And there you go. Well, I say there you go. Back down to the first floor. This would have been his bedroom. Bed chamber to sitting room. Not too sure how many people lived here. But uh sure whether it was like one couple I've not seen any kids rooms seen any kids rooms or anything like that The fire going over there. Oh, yeah. Hi. I think that's about it. Go down these stairs and we're out. Beams are starting to bow a bit. 1949, a volunteer group, the Friends of the Old Hall, who saved the building and first opened it to the public, gave it to the nation in 1970. The house, now owned by English Heritage, is open to the public as a museum. The Friends of the Hall group still exists today and provides volunteer guides and other expertise. She's a bit bright. So that's Gainsborough Old Hall. Catherine did come with me yesterday, so she hadn't missed it. Like I say, there's no audio on the video. Because you can't trust GoPro these days. So there you go anyway. <laughs> so we'll head back to the car. I don't know whether to put the drone up or not. I don't know. I don't know. There's no legal reason why I can't. I just feel a bit dodgy about it. So there you go. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it two down. And if you want to see future updates, consider the subscribe button. Actually, guys. <laughs>